Yes, well, it's very hard to imagine here in England just how terrifying it would have been to have experienced that earthquake uh, at first hand in Japan yesterday. But here at the University of Bristol is a machine that gives us just some indication. It's called uh, a shaking table and basically it simulates earthquakes and just to give you uh, an example here is a simulation of the earthquake at Christchurch in New Zealand on the 21st of February so that's what it would have been like with me is Colin Taylor who is a professor of earthquake engineering uh, my first reaction looking to that uh, is that it, it was quite unpleasant obviously but for a short time yes it was quite a small magnitude earthquake in Christchurch about 6.3 in the Ritter scale which is a, a very moderate event but it was a short uh, duration direct hit on the city strong motion there it was about four or five seconds of intense shaking and of course, what we saw in Japan yesterday was on a completely different scale. Let's see a simulation now of what happened yesterday. So, Colin, more uh, violent, those pulses. And also what's very noticeable is, you know, it's only really just getting going now and it's going on for a long time. Yes, the earthquake in Japan was magnitude 8.9. The strong motion probably went on for 30 or 40 seconds. Very intensive motion, uh, causing a, a huge amount of damage. And just give us a demonstration of that here uh, on this graph. What are we actually seeing here? Uh, this is a, a, a trace of, of time against the acceleration of the ground, the motion of the ground backwards and forwards. So this trace is about 30 seconds long and very high accelerations of about 1G. That's uh, one times gravity shaking a building horizontally. Uh, it's a very intensive kind of motion. Now, as an earthquake engineer, uh, you effectively design buildings to withstand earthquakes. How impressed or, or otherwise have you been at the way that the buildings in Japan have actually withstood this earthquake? Well, the, the initial evidence is that the modern buildings built to the latest design standards have done very well. They're designed to flex and uh, absorb the shocks. And certainly in, in Tokyo, uh, a little way away from the epicenter, the buildings have done very well, but we'll, we'll have to get into the, the areas to, uh, to really investigate that. Briefly, we've heard about this explosion at the nuclear facility. How concerned are you about that? Well, any explosion at a nuclear plant is of concern. Uh, nuclear plants have many layers of safety, and I'm sure that they will have uh, invoked uh, all the appropriate safety procedures. And very, very briefly, can we actually make uh, buildings, uh, nuclear plants especially, even more safe? Uh, we can always do more. They're designed to very, very high standards and we'll be learning lessons from this event to, to improve that further.